With its 17,508 islands, Indonesia is one of the 17 most biodiverse countries of the world. Although it represents only 1.3% of the Earth land surface, it hosts 11% of the world plant species, 16% of all reptile species, and 10% of its mammal species. No other country in the world has more mammal species than Indonesia. Remaining populations of iconic species, such as the Javan rhino, the orangutan, and the Sumatran tiger, depend on conservation efforts for their survival. This biodiversity is key to sustain Indonesia's economy and livelihoods of Indonesians like Vinche. Unfortunately, over the past decades, Indonesian ecosystems and biodiversity have degraded at an alarming rate. Since Indonesia ratified the Convention on Biological Diversity in 1994, many strategies, policies, action plans and projects have been created. However, how much is the government of Indonesia really spending to preserve the country's unique biodiversity? Are these actions effective? Has the government set the right incentives to preserve ecosystems? How much money is really needed to preserve Indonesia's biodiversity? For that purpose in 2014, with the support of UNDP, Indonesia launched Biofin. Working with the Ministry of Finance, National Planning Agency, and the Ministry of Environment, the program aims at revealing gaps to finance biodiversity conservation and to assess the value of the country's rich biodiversity. The program includes tracking public and private spending on biodiversity, calculating the cost of implementing national plans to preserve it, and identifying potential funders. Biofin is a program of hope to preserve one of the planet's most precious biodiversity hotspots, 